But why is the Philippine government processing the Chinese drug maker's EUA on its behalf? To let us know the rationale behind the move, we have on the line Health Undersecretary, uh, Undersecretary Maria Rosario Berhere. Uh, Yusek Berhere, bakit nga po? Is the premise here uh, that neither the pharmaceutical nor its distributors here, if any, have applied? And if so, bakit, bakit ang gobyerno ang mag apply on their behalf? Uh, yes, no. So good evening, Robi. No. So actually, um, we have two manufacturers or two distributors here in the country, which have significant signified their intent to apply long before, no, mm. last year, pa. And up until now, we had been waiting, uh, but no application yet. Mm. So so ngayon, uh, with the negotiations being done uh, through uh, our vaccine czar, uh, meron pong pathway na tinitignan na baka maging government to government ang negosasyon. So kapag ka ganito, para lang po mapabilis natin, uh, we are undertaking uh, this kind of pathway where the government will apply for the EUA. Kailangan nung maintindihan ng ating mga kababayan na dun po sa batas at sa polisiya na meron tayo ngayon, pinapayagan naman po ang gobyerno uh, through the Department of Health na mag-procure, uh, mag-EUA, no? mag-apply for the emergency use authority. Nagawa na po natin ito dati when we had our COVAX facility EUA para dun sa mga bakuna ng COVAX at saka dun sa donated vaccines ng Sinovac po. Okay, but does that, uh, is that necessarily avoiding any conflict uh, given that the FDA to whom you will apply is a unit under the DOH? Oh, well, uh, it, it conducts its independent evaluation. Uh, we have to look at the very objective of this purpose or the objective of this uh, undertaking. It would be for us to facilitate more vaccines that will come into the country. Hmm. And this will be done, as I've said, through government-to-government -government negotiations. That's why we are uh, triggering or initia initiating this kind of uh, undertaking, uh, like applying for the EUA, so that we can facilitate the process. Okay, Yusek Berhere, if you don't mind, may pahabol na question lang po yung news desk namin. No? Uh, as per Dr. Paz Corrales of DOH NCR, around 2 million AstraZeneca doses daw are set to expire in June and July. Is this necessarily cause for concern? Uh, well, uh, there is a strategy already no, that has been uh, recommended by Secretary Galvez, our vaccine czar. So when we have received these vaccines, uh, alam naman po natin na meron tayong expiring ng June and July. Pinag-usapan po ng maayos at uh, ang, ang utos nga po, ibigay na po natin ng uh, initial doses itong mag expire ng June. And uh, bigyan na rin po yung dapat na nakaschedule for second doses. Total 12 weeks naman po ang pagitan ng bawat interval. We will still be awaiting the upcoming AstraZeneca vaccines uh, that will be delivered in the country. So we don't see any issue here because we know that we still have AstraZeneca vaccines coming. So all of these vaccine doses will be given as a first dose to all of those eligible population. Okay. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Berhere, maraming salamat po.